Welcome seekers of divine purpose. In today's enlightening journey, we delve into the timeless wisdom of C.S. Lewis, renowned scholar and theologian. Prepare to unlock the secrets of your divine calling as we explore the nine unmistakable signs that mark you as chosen by God. Join us as Lewis unveils the path to discovering your sacred destiny. This is C.S. Lewis, Nine Signs You Are Chosen by God. Let's begin. In the vast expanse of human emotions, love shines as the most luminous beacon, guiding us through the darkest nights and the stormiest seas. Yet, among the varied forms of love, there is one that transcends, one that illuminates the path to our divine calling agape or unconditional love. C.S. Lewis, in his profound exploration of love, highlighted agape as the purest form of love, a selfless, giving love that expects nothing in return. Agape is not born of emotion or bound by the ties of reciprocity. It is a love that flows freely, like a river nourishing the parched lands without asking for anything. It is the love that the Creator showers upon creation, a model for us to emulate in our interactions with the world around us. When you love unconditionally, you become a conduit of divine grace, a vessel through which the light of the heavens pours into the cracks of our broken world. This unconditional love is not merely an ideal, it is a call to action. It challenges us to look beyond our desires, to love even when the storms of life make it difficult. It is in these moments, when love becomes a choice rather than a feeling, that we truly reflect the image of the divine. So, if you find your heart drawn to love without condition, to give without the slightest thought of receiving, you may be heeding the call of a higher purpose. This selfless love is a sign, a beacon, signaling your role as a bearer of light in a world that often forgets the meaning of true love. Embrace this calling with open arms, for in loving unconditionally, we participate in the divine narrative, playing our part in the grand tapestry of creation that the author of all has woven with threads of grace, mercy, and, above all, love. In a world brimming with half-truths and echoes of wisdom long forgotten, the quest for unadulterated truth stands as a noble pursuit, a beacon cutting through the fog of uncertainty. C.S. Lewis, once a skeptic, embarked on a relentless search for truth, a journey that ultimately led him to the shores of faith. His transformation from doubt to belief underscores the profound role that an earnest thirst for truth plays in our spiritual odyssey. Lewis believed that our longing for truth is no mere coincidence but a divine echo within us, a homing signal from our Creator guiding us back to Him. This yearning is not satisfied by mere facts or data but seeks deeper understanding, wisdom that resonates with the core of our being. It's a journey that takes courage, for truth often challenges us to rethink our assumptions, to shed comfortable illusions in favor of a more profound reality. This thirst for truth is more than an intellectual exercise, it's a spiritual awakening, a call to align our lives with the eternal truths that govern the universe. When you find yourself driven by this insatiable desire to uncover what is real, to hold fast to what is good and reject what is false, consider it a sign of your calling. You are, perhaps, meant to be a seeker, a guardian of truth in an age where truth is often viewed as a matter of perspective. Embrace this calling with the tenacity of a scholar and the humility of a pilgrim. In your search for truth, you will find more than just answers, you will discover a path that leads you closer to your divine purpose, to the heart of God Himself. For in the pursuit of truth, we journey not just towards knowledge, but towards the very source of all truth, the author of our faith, who invites us to know Him and, in knowing Him, to find ourselves. In the tapestry of human experience, the threads of good and evil weave a complex pattern, revealing the stark contrasts that define our moral landscape. C.S. Lewis, with his keen insight into the human condition, illuminated the undeniable presence of a moral law, an innate sense of right and wrong that transcends cultural and personal preferences. This awareness, he argued, is not a social construct but a divine imprint, a guidepost embedded in our very being by the Creator. Lewis's exploration of morality in works like Mere Christianity sheds light on this internal compass that points us towards good and steers us away from evil. It's this moral awareness that whispers to us in moments of choice, urging us to act justly, love mercy, and walk humbly. When you feel the weight of this moral responsibility, when you are moved to stand against injustice and to champion the cause of the oppressed, it's a sign of a deeper calling. This awareness is not merely for contemplation but for action. It calls us to be agents of change, to embody the principles of the kingdom of heaven in a world marred by shadows. It's a call to be a light in the darkness, to uphold truth and justice in a world that often celebrates the opposite. If you find yourself restless in the face of wrongdoing, if your heart aches for righteousness, consider this your calling. You are perhaps destined to be a defender of the good, a warrior for truth in the great battle between light and darkness. This sensitivity to the moral fabric of the universe is not a burden but a gift, a divine beckoning to align your life with the eternal standards set by the author of all that is good and just. 
Embrace this calling with courage, for the path of righteousness is often fraught with challenges. Yet, in the pursuit of good, in the stand against evil, we find our truest selves and fulfill our part in the divine narrative, echoing the heart of God in a world that desperately needs His light. In the realm of human faculties, imagination stands as a celestial bridge, connecting the seen with the unseen, the temporal with the eternal. C.S. Lewis, a master storyteller and a devout thinker, revered the imagination not as mere fancy but as a vital instrument for apprehending spiritual realities. Through the wardrobe of imagination, Lewis ventured into Narnia, and in doing so, invited us all to see beyond the physical world to the deeper truths it signifies. Lewis's embrace of myth and story was rooted in his conviction that these are not just escapes from reality, but rather, they offer us a lens to perceive a greater reality. Imagination allows us to conceive of the heavenly kingdom, to grasp the essence of virtues like courage, sacrifice, and redemption in ways that mere abstract concepts cannot. When you are moved by a story, stirred by a melody, or captivated by a painting, it's more than aesthetic pleasure, it's your soul resonating with the echoes of a larger story. This power of imagination is not just for artists or writers, it's a divine gift to every human being, beckoning us to envision the world not just as it is, but as it could be. If you find yourself inspired to imagine, to create, to dream, it might be a sign of your calling to be a storyteller of the divine, a weaver of tales that reflect the greater truths of our existence. Embrace this gift of imagination with the responsibility and joy it entails. For in crafting stories, in painting pictures, in composing melodies that echo the divine narrative, you participate in the creative work of God Himself. You offer the world a glimpse of the unseen, a taste of the eternal, through the canvas of your imagination. So, if your heart swells with dreams and visions, if your mind wanders in realms of wonder and awe, heed this calling. You are perhaps chosen to be an ambassador of the invisible, tasked with the sacred duty of making the divine palpable through the power of imagination. In the landscape of human experiences, pain and suffering are among the most formidable terrains we navigate. Yet, within these shadowed valleys, there lies a profound potential for transformation and revelation. C.S. Lewis, through his own encounters with grief and loss, as poignantly expressed in A Grief Observed, came to understand pain not as a mere misfortune, but as a megaphone God uses to rouse a deaf world. Lewis contended that pain, in its raw and unvarnished truth, confronts us with the fragility of our earthly existence, stripping away the illusions of self-sufficiency and invulnerability. It is in these moments of vulnerability that we are often most open to the divine whisper, most aware of our need for something or someone greater than ourselves. Pain, thus, becomes not just an adversary but a guide leading us to the heart of God. This perspective on suffering invites us to view our own trials not as senseless tribulations but as part of a larger narrative of redemption and growth. When you find yourself facing hardships that shake the foundations of your world, consider it an invitation to deeper communion with the divine. It's in the crucible of suffering that our character is refined, our faith is deepened, and our dependence on God is solidified. Embrace this path, not as a passive resignation to fate, but as an active engagement with a God who is both sovereign and intimately present in our pain. For those who are called to walk through the valley of shadows, there is a promise of divine companionship and eventual emergence into a place of greater strength, compassion, and understanding. So, if your journey is marked by trials, if your heart is acquainted with grief, see it as a sign of your calling to bear witness to the redemptive power of God. Your pain, when surrendered to the Creator, can become a powerful testimony of faith, hope, and love that transcends the darkness. In the depths of every human heart lies a longing, a yearning that transcends the boundaries of time and space. It's a longing for something more, something beyond the fleeting pleasures and passing moments of this earthly existence. C.S. Lewis, with his keen insight into the human condition, recognized this longing as a divine echo, a signpost pointing us towards our ultimate destiny in God. Lewis famously described this longing as sensucht, a German word that encapsulates a profound sense of longing for the infinite, the eternal, the unattainable. It's a longing that finds expression in our deepest desires, our noblest aspirations, our most heartfelt prayers. When we feel this stirring within us, when our souls ache for a home we've never known, it's a sign that we are made for something beyond this world. This longing for the eternal is not a mere flight of fancy or wishful thinking, it's rooted in the very fabric of our being, woven into the tapestry of our souls by the hand of the Creator. It's a reminder that we are pilgrims passing through this world, journeying towards a destination that lies beyond the horizon of time. When we embrace this longing, when we surrender to its pull, we open ourselves to the possibility of encountering the divine in ways we never imagined. 
So, if your heart resonates with this longing, if you find yourself yearning for a deeper connection with the Eternal, consider it a sign of your calling to be a seeker of the Divine. Your longing is not in vain, it's a sacred invitation to embark on a journey of discovery, a quest for meaning and purpose that ultimately leads us home to God. Embrace this longing with open arms, for in it lies the promise of fulfillment, the assurance of a destiny that transcends the confines of this mortal coil. And as you journey towards the Eternal, may you find solace in the words of the Psalmist, in your presence is fullness of joy, at your right hand are pleasures forevermore. In the vast expanse of creation, there are depths of mystery that elude our finite minds, truths that lie beyond the reach of our comprehension. C.S. Lewis, with his profound humility before the mysteries of existence, recognized that there are aspects of God and His ways that surpass our understanding. He embraced these mysteries not with fear or frustration, but with a sense of wonder and awe. Lewis understood that mystery is not a barrier to faith but a pathway to deeper intimacy with the divine. It's in the mystery of God's presence, the mystery of His providence, the mystery of His love that we encounter the true depths of His being. When we stand in awe before the mysteries of the universe, when we acknowledge our own limitations in the face of the infinite, we open ourselves to a deeper experience of God's presence. This embrace of mystery is not a surrender to ignorance but a recognition of the inherent limitations of human knowledge. It's a willingness to journey into the unknown, to explore the uncharted territories of faith with courage and humility. When we embrace mystery, we invite God to reveal Himself to us in ways that transcend our understanding, to lead us into the depths of His truth and love. So, if you find yourself drawn to the mysteries of faith, if you are captivated by the unknown and the unknowable, consider it a sign of your calling to be a pilgrim of the divine mysteries. Your thirst for understanding is not in vain, it's a sacred invitation to venture into the depths of God's presence, to explore the mysteries of His kingdom and to encounter the awe-inspiring majesty of His being. Embrace this journey with faith and trust, knowing that in the mystery of God's presence, you will find the fulfillment of your deepest longings and the revelation of His boundless love. In a world often marked by division and discord, love stands as a beacon of hope, a force that transcends barriers and transforms lives. C.S. Lewis, with his profound understanding of the nature of love, recognized that true love is not merely a sentiment but a courageous commitment, a willingness to sacrifice, to endure, to give of oneself for the sake of another. Lewis's reflections on love, as articulated in works like The Four Loves, reveal that love is not always easy, it requires courage, the courage to forgive, the courage to empathize, the courage to stand against injustice. It's this courageous love that reflects the heart of God Himself, who so loved the world that He gave His only Son. When we exhibit courageous love in our lives, when we reach out to the marginalized, when we stand up for the oppressed, when we extend grace to the undeserving, we embody the very essence of our calling as followers of Christ. This courageous love is not passive or complacent, it's active and transformative, a force that has the power to heal wounds, mend brokenness, and reconcile estranged hearts. So, if you find yourself moved by compassion, if you are stirred to action by the plight of the suffering, consider it a sign of your calling to be a vessel of courageous love in a world in desperate need of healing. Your willingness to love sacrificially, to extend grace generously, is a testimony to the transformative power of God's love working through you. Embrace this calling with boldness and humility, knowing that in the courageous expression of love, you participate in the redemptive work of God Himself. And as you journey forth in love, may you be strengthened by the knowledge that you are not alone, for the God of love goes before you, empowering you to be a beacon of hope and healing in a world hungering for love. In the ebb and flow of life's uncertainties, there is a comforting truth that anchors the soul, a belief in divine providence, the conviction that God's hand is guiding our steps, even in the midst of chaos and confusion. C.S. Lewis, with his unwavering trust in God's providential care, understood that faith is not just a matter of belief, but a courageous surrender to the loving sovereignty of our Creator. <coughs> Lewis's writings, particularly in The Problem of Pain and The Screwtape Letters, illuminate the mysterious workings of divine providence in the tapestry of human existence. He reminds us that even in our darkest moments, God is at work, weaving together the threads of joy and sorrow, triumph and tragedy, into a masterpiece of redemption and grace. Trusting providence requires a leap of faith, a willingness to relinquish control, to surrender our plans and ambitions to the one who holds the universe in his hands. It's a recognition that God's ways are not our ways, and his thoughts are higher than ours. Yet, in this surrender, we find true freedom, a freedom from anxiety, from fear, from the burden of self-reliance. When we trust in God's providence, we are liberated from the tyranny of circumstance, knowing that even in the face of uncertainty, we are held secure in the palm of his hand. 
This trust is not blind or naive, it's a deliberate choice to believe in the goodness and faithfulness of God, even when the world around us seems to be crumbling. So, if you find yourself wrestling with doubt, if you are weighed down by the cares of this world, consider it a sign of your calling to trust in divine providence. Your willingness to surrender control, to place your life in God's hands, is a testimony to the power of faith to sustain and uphold us in every season of life. Embrace this trust with humility and gratitude, knowing that in entrusting your life to God's care, you are aligning yourself with His eternal purposes and finding refuge in His unfailing love. And as you journey forth in faith, may you be strengthened by the assurance that God is always with you, guiding you, protecting you, and leading you into the fullness of His will. In conclusion, as we reflect on the profound insights of C.S. Lewis and the timeless truths of the Christian faith, we are reminded of our calling to embrace our identity as chosen vessels of God's love and purpose. Through the lens of Lewis's wisdom, we have explored nine profound signs that illuminate our path and guide us toward a deeper understanding of our divine calling. From recognizing the power of imagination to the courage of love, from embracing the mysteries of faith to trusting in divine providence, each sign beckons us to journey deeper into the heart of God, to discover the fullness of our purpose and potential as beloved children of the Most High. As we heed the call to be vessels of God's grace and light in the world, may we walk in humility and faith, knowing that we are not alone on this journey. May we draw strength from the example of C.S. Lewis, whose life and writings continue to inspire generations with their profound wisdom and unwavering faith. And as we navigate the challenges and uncertainties of life, may we hold fast to the promise that we are indeed chosen, called to fulfill a sacred mandate that transcends time and space. For in the end, it is not by our own strength or wisdom that we fulfill our calling, but by the grace and power of the One who has called us from the very beginning. So let us go forth with courage and conviction, trusting in the goodness and faithfulness of our Heavenly Father, knowing that He who has called us is faithful, and He will surely accomplish His purposes in and through us. And may the words of C.S. Lewis echo in our hearts, guiding us ever closer to the heart of God.